Hello there, welcome into Sit If You're Able. I'm your host, Max Abel, and joining me today is Ch Chase? Ch Chase Carver. He's a freshman pitcher here at Bellarmine, and i um, just going to sit down and ask him how the, that transition's gone from high school and uh, just a little bit about him. So, Chase, where are you, where, where you from? Uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Bowling about Green, An hour Kentucky. south of here. So. Did you go to high school? Uh, Warren East High School. Warren East yes, High sir. School. So, yep. uh, right-handed pitcher here with us. So, um, you always wanted to be a pitcher, or just sucked at hitting, or? <laughs> well, I, I was good at hitting until about my senior year of high school. Okay. So I can say that. But uh, I've always been a decent pitcher, and uh, <clears throat> my parents always told me I'd be a really good pitcher. And then uh, my dad was my coach, so he would save my arm, mm -hmm. never like overuse me when I was little. And I guess I got some velo my yeah. end of high school, and here I am. So yeah. there's more yeah. money there, anyway. So. That's right. That's what I'm saying. And it's a, and it's a little little less time consuming. So. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Get to get to head home early. <laughs> Every now and then. Yeah. So uh, what's kind of been the biggest transition moving from from high school to to college? I think that's one a lot of guys talk about that being one of the bigger transitions and just well, sports, but also life. But sports are more important. So. Well, for sports, I guess the biggest transition is, uh, I guess in high school and in, in that level, uh, you're used to being like, I don't know, you're just more athletic and I guess a little more gifted in some, some aspects of the game. But uh, when you get to college, it's a whole different story. You know, you got guys that are you know, th two, three, four years older than you. They're, I mean, they're grown men, they're strong, way stronger, faster and all this. And uh, I mean, that's just, that's definitely the biggest adjustment uh, sports wise. Uh, Life-wise, it's just, I don't know, being away from family, mm -hmm. uh, having, having college classes, which is a lot, I think, in my opinion, better than high school. But at the same time, you just, it's all on you. So it's yeah. more responsibility. That's, the, that's the toughest thing. They don't hold your hand anymore. That's right. I wish they did. <laughs> That'd be nice. But uh, uh, yeah, that's the, biggest, that's the biggest change. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Growing up, did you have like a who's your who's your guy that you tried to emulate, pitcher, hitter? Well, yeah, I never really tried to emulate a pitcher to be honest. No. I, I never. <laughs> I, I, I thought pitching was boring when I was little. I, I when they put me on the mound, I hated it. But uh, I guess hitters wise, uh, <laughs> I wasn't even a lefty, but my dad liked Prince Fielder, yeah. so I would always like similar build. <laughs> <laughs> When I was little, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was a chump. But uh <laughs> yeah, uh Prince Fielder, uh I mean he loved Jeter, but yeah. you know, nobody wants to well, I was, people want to be like Jeter, but I don't know, his swing was just so it was just pretty Prince, boring. Yeah. yeah, Prince had a little bit more right. iconic swing. Yeah. He dunked himself down. He was also He's, built like a he was a tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute rock. Yeah. So Yeah, so, I'd say Prince Fielder. Yeah. That's that's a good one. It is. That's a good one. Um, so got through the got through the fall all right. What was yep. kind of the kind of did you have one of those holy bleep <laughs> welcome to college baseball moments? Um. Yeah, I guess I did. Uh, we played. We had inter squads, obviously, yeah. three times a week, and uh, I don't know. My first few appearances, I did really really well. And I was kind of like, oh, this is not as bad as I thought it'd be, as hard. Well, uh, I, I don't know if it was because the hitters just hadn't hit in a while off live arm, but it took them a couple weeks, and they finally started to see the ball really well. And then uh, they just started mashing us. And uh, I think I gave up a home run to Jackson Case, and I was like, oh, shoot. And that, but I hit the ball probably 400 feet, and I was like, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. But anyways, that and uh, the weight room was the biggest, like, yeah, you're like holy crap. Because little... You got guys like Pinder and yeah. Milto and Charlie Rife in there just lifting the house. Weight. Yeah, not yeah, a little weight. And I'm just yeah. sitting here like doing the hardly anyway. And I'm just like, golly. But, you know, that's, that's, that was the biggest thing. Yeah. Welcome to baseball. Mm -hmm. Welcome to college. And what's so, the, <clears throat> I guess off the same, um, that same note, kind of as specific to pitching, mm -hmm. what's the biggest change from high school facing high school hitters to college hitters is it just you can't make the same mistakes you can't 
Yeah. They hit your good pitches, just all, all the above? That's exactly it. In high school, <clears throat> I would say you can get away with, uh, I mean, the top of the order every now and then you can get away with, you know, missing a spot from inside to outside, which is a complete wrong side of the plate. And, you know, they might swing and miss or just look at it. You get away with that. Uh, but here it's, you know, fastball outside. If it's not outside, you better hope they, they screw up because if they, they don't, they're going to hit the ball a mile. Yeah. And then they're all, you're off speed. doesn't matter how good of an off speed you got. I mean, guys here are talented and athletic enough to get to a good off speed pitch and, and hit it pretty well. So, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, that's all I can really say. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I mean, so, I have a pretty good curveball and a little, yeah, I mean, I'm a little, a little, a little 12, six <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I threw, I threw a cut. I threw one to scales this this uh, past fall, and I, it was O two, and I threw one to him, and he banged a double, and I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" Like it was a good pitch. He just actually take that back. It wasn't really a good pitch. <laughs> Should have been a little lower, but he still banged for a double. So he, he did that a lot last year. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty good. So but, uh, what do we got today? The sixteenth. So mm -hmm. I think one month exactly until opening day. What are what are That's we right. feeling going into Excited. going into that? Excited. excited excited would be an understatement ready so to excited. ready to stop practicing and yeah a little bit else. i'm ready for this cold weather to be over with <laughs> i'm telling you this cold weather is brutal but uh i'm ready to travel i'm ready to i'm ready to play obviously but um i don't know i mean it's been my dream to play college baseball for years yeah. and now that it's finally <clears throat> a month away it's kind of like i'm so anxious and ready to yeah. go i mean i'm i'm hyped i'm really hyped so I'm assuming you've looked over the schedule and yeah. is there a, a road trip or a midweek that you're most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to going, we're going to go to uh, wherever FGCU is. I think it's like Gulf Coast. Yeah, yeah. it's down. It might be like I think Naples. It's, no, that ain't Naples. Uh, it's Fort Myers. Fort Myers, yeah, yeah. South Florida, it's on the other side of the state from Miami, a little bit yeah. north. But okay. Well, I'm excited for that because yeah. I think that's our spring break trip. Yeah, I, think. A, I know it's our first. Um, <clears throat> first conference series so it'll still be yeah it's not like we're going down there in may right so yeah we t get to take advantage of going down there that's when right. the weather's still cold so that's good that's right <laughs> i'm excited for that yeah really excited and then uh we'll play ut we'll play tennessee yep. i mean that'll be a lot of fun they got the guys played them last year and yep want to play them again be, <laughs> i mean who doesn't want to play like the best yeah. teams right yeah them and we, i mean U of L is cool. here but they're good all, they're always good so. yeah i don't know It'll be my first year. I'm just like I said earlier. I'm just trying to do it. and experience it, enjoy it, and try to do well and, and learn things. Learn and some then, stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's right. All right. I think that that's that's about all I got for you today. Sweet. Appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. So Absolutely. All righty. So that wraps it up for us. Uh, we'll be back with another guest next week. See who bring in.